Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 19 in chapter 26. Chapter 26 is about DC circuits. There we look at the system. We need to determine the net resistance of the circuit connected to the battery. That means we need to find the resistance from this point to this point, right? And then we look at there. First one at the very end, we have R1 and R2 connected in series. Do you, agree? Do you agree? So that means the equivalent resistance for R1 and R2 should be R1 plus R2 equal to 2R, right? 2R. Now we can see um, we, have, we have the R1, R2. This is R1 to as we talk about. We connected in parallel with R3. Do you agree? Yes. So this part is in parallel connection. So this one, we can see it is connected with R1, 2, 3, parallel connection. So parallel connection, we can use this function, this equation to get it. So that is 1 over R1, 2 plus 1 over R3, and then do the reverse. You get it at there. Now, next one, you can see we have the R1, 2, 3 connected in series with R4. Do you agree? R1, 2, 3 connected with the R4. So there we have the R1, 2, 3, 4 as the series connection. R1, 2, 3 plus R4, right? So add this them together, you get it there. The next one, it looks like there, you can see R1, 2, 3, 4 do the parallel connection with R5, agree? R1, 2, 3, 4 do the parallel connection with R5. So this resistance becomes the R1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the parallel connection. We use the function, this function to get it. And then after our calculation, it is a 5R over 8. Now finally, we want to find the resistance. R1, 2, 4, 5 with R6. So this is just the series connection. So you add them together, and then you get the final equivalent resistance as 13R over 8. Thank you.